I can't just talk about something like <laughs> the last video I did I was using the audible mic from the webcam but it was like getting all this background noise from like the AC and the fan and just like crap that was annoying and I was like dang it I did like the audio is not as good as when I use the mic so I went back to using the mic so hopefully it's synced if it's not synced whatever I don't really care so yeah but I'm Mass Effect. Let's talk about that. Man. Um, so yeah, I don't know where, where to start really. I, was, I, I completely didn't have my train of thought ready, but uh, let's do it. Um, actually, before I start, there's one thing I forgot last video was that uh, Left 4 Dead playthrough with bots. So I only have No Mercy, I think, done. So I need to do the other maps, but I'll, I'll do that whenever because it's not really on the top of my to-do list. And I talked about all the other Mass Effect videos I'm trying to make, but, um, man, I don't even know where to start here. So, so yeah, um, I was, I'm trying to figure out a way to, like, record my commentary while I play, and then the audio from the game, and then, like, have it combined, and then, like, get a commentary video of, like, all the different class, well, not all the different class builds, but basically... A video for like each class, for each or each race for each class, of uh, like each build. Not each. I'm sorry, not each build, but like how I play each class. Because then I can put up like a guide, kind of a guide video of like this. Is, I think I'm, it's going to be basically in the sense of this is how I play this class, but you don't have to play that class that way because there's more than one pl way to play like each class. Because I saw a really good uh, Krogan Sentinel video. Uh, I guess I'll put an annotation to that, and I was like, hmm, that is a pretty, pretty good strategy, because I don't think I was playing my Krogan Sentinel like that, but I only played it once, because that's a class I usually play Turian on that class, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that, that's an interesting, that's the thing I love, I love about Mass Effect 3, is like, every class you can play like so many different ways, so it's like, it's cool to see someone play something, something completely different from what you play on that class. Like, I'll play a Turian Sentinel with like, overload and like tech armor and then like uh i just my my newest build i had was uh i only went like three i think like the the third tier into fitness and then like the other three i used it for a uh, warp so i could actually have some uh biotics so i'm thinking of like maybe having that only go to the third tier and then like maybe taking one out of the um or taking the last tier out of the uh the one above fitness which is like your your powers and uh, weapon damage, and putting that into warp, and then like having it be able to like do more biotic detonation damage, and more uh, other stuff. Uh oh. Also, so yeah, I got this. Um, I think this is like the part of the thing I won for the winning the uh, this Omni kill thing. So this is the. <laughs> what is this? Um, so yeah, one of these is the lightweight hoodie, and then one's the utility jacket. This is, I think, the lightweight hoodie, because, yeah, looking at the zipper and the front of it, well, it's kind of hard to see without the plastic on, but, yeah, it has, like, an N7 on it. And then this one, yeah, this is a lightweight jacket, because it has different material than the hoodie, so I'm not sure you can see that very well. So there's that. Um, yeah, I had... <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what I was saying during the last video that I was trying to think of don't say it until the next video, but I completely forgot, so yeah, I kinda just had a brain fart there. Um last fact three. What do I want to say? So yeah, let's see, there's new DLC supposedly coming out for like the Earth, which is uh I'm hoping it's not the last one. And hopefully they like it's really weird, like the, what's happened so far is like they've all been free, like the multiplayer map packs, so it's like it's <laughs> I'm I'm hoping they keep releasing them and having them be free, but I'm not sure if they can keep doing that or like what's up. Cause like once they stop having free ones, it's gonna a split the user base because some people won't have all the maps, and b make a lot of people really mad because they'll be like, why why is this map pack not free? Cause all the other ones were. So that'll be <laughs> hopefully they don't do that and they're just like that'll be crazy. But um so yeah besides that it's like so we have a new objective which is get the retrieval thingy which we was like the last weekend objective so i'm hoping they add more of those um enemy types they should add 
Yeah, they well, they sh not, I'm gonna say they should, but like, I want there to like be more enemy types because Mass Effect One, you have Batarians. Well, okay, actually, okay, before I begin, so Mass Effect Three, it doesn't make sense. Okay, <laughs> not that it doesn't make sense, but it's like it's weird because in the campaign, all the races are united. So it's like if you play in multiplayer and you're fighting against a certain race as a faction enemy, it's kind of weird. So it's kind of weird how they have that where it's like in the campaign all this stuff's going down, but then like in the in the multiplayer it's like kind of not nonsensical, weird. <sighs> That's the thing I don't like about multiplayer games sometimes. It's like it's just so disposable that like stuff will be happening. And it's like wait a minute, that's like all the only thing that's like taken from the multi or the single player is like the map you're playing on. And it's like everything else like does it's just like thrown out the window. So it's like you're running you're running around as like the character models from the single player, but like the context is like completely broken because you're doing stuff you weren't doing in single player. But it's in multiplayer, so it's kind of like oh we can break the rules in multiplayer because it doesn't apply the multiplayer. But but if they do, if they want to go that route, I guess they could add Batarians to fight. Um, or like Mass Effect One. So it's like. Yeah, have like batarians and like mercenary groups, but they weren't as defined as the mercenary groups in two. It was just like bad dudes out in space doing stuff. And you had like, well, you have Geth now and husks, so eh. But then like, uh, you had like the armatures and the they're like the four the four legged ones, but you don't have those in this one. But I guess you have like the hunters and the prime, so mm, give or take. In the Mass Effect two, there's. <laughs> Like, like, why can't they have the collectors? Like, seriously, the, the collectors are like the main villain group, and like, you don't even have them in Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. So it's like, that's the other thing. Is like, it kind of like was weird. Like, okay, Mass Effect 3, like, it's like every time they would refer, or not every time, but sometimes when they would refer to the collector base that you blew up at the end of Mass Effect 2, they'd say like the collector's homeworld. So did you kill them all when you blew up the base? Because even Vega, when he's talking about how he was on that mission and all those people died, and like I think they killed all the collectors, but I'm not sure. And like, yeah, it didn't matter. Cause Shepard killed them all, so that was weird. And then, the, and then like the other thing is like he mentions a harvester, so it's like those creatures existed in Mass Effect Two timeline, but Shepard never ran into them, so eh. <sighs> Mass Effect Three. Ugh. And then, like, I have, whole, I have a whole issue about, like, the whole final boss of Mass Effect 2. Because that's, that's not even explained. It's like... like it's like, if you're harvesting these, their species in, into a... F like, to have them be... Uh, what is it? What, what did they, they... They basically harvest them to... put them, Not to put them in stasis, but to, like, keep them... Not keep them alive, either, but to, like, have their... I don't know, the way, the way the space child says it at the end, it just doesn't, ah, that's the ending, ah. But, like, they all, they all get harvested to put to be put in Reaper form, but then, like, at the end of Mass Effect 2, the, the Reaper form that you're, you're put in is a human form, but it's like, why do all the Reapers look the same then? Because then, when they look different, if they're different species and put in different forms, or are they all combined, and maybe the human Reaper wasn't in the insect Reaper form yet, and, yeah. Yeah, Mass Effect 3. Yeah. Moving on, though. Other other enemy factions, besides the Collectors. Because, you know, they had, like, what? I mean, that would be so cool to, like, have... You have, like, the Drones, and then you have Harbinger, and, like, the Scions, and the... I think that's it. Because you have, like, the... There's like, there's, like, two or three different types of, like, the Collectors. There's, like, the regular dudes with the rifles, the dudes with, like, the, uh, the projector rifle... And then there might be another one, but whatever. And then you have Harbinger, who like teleports. One well, doesn't teleport, but he it's just annoying because he has that warp that hits you out of cover. So that'd be cool. Well, it wouldn't be. It'd be annoying, but it'd be a nice, different thing to have in Mass Effect Three, where you can just stay in cover. So like, yeah. And uh, he has like what barriers and armor, so just like the Banshees and Primes and Atlas. So that would work. Or I guess she'll. Yeah, you didn't have shields and armor. You had bears and armor, so it's more like a banshee as opposed to an Atlas or a Prime that has shields and armor. So yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think that's it for the. <clears throat> well, the Scions have that too, like bear and armor. So, but yeah, but, but like Scions, Harbinger, or possessed collector by Reaper using that 
thing they do where they assume direct control. So yeah. Um, oh, okay, and then like moving on from the collectors because I can't think of any more. I think that's it. Yeah, the blood pack, which is like what Krogan and Vorcha. Uh, let's see, Eclipse. I think a Solarian and Asari. Cause it's like mostly out of Ilium, maybe. Oh, wait, I'm, I don't know. If it's, it's not mostly out of Ilium. I'm sorry, but like Eclipse are like yeah, they have like all their mechs. So you have mechs, Solarians, Asari. That'd be cool. I think they have some humans too. Maybe the blood pack do as well, but I don't remember. Blue Suns do because they have like uh, cause like Zaid's always like I, I started the Blue Suns blah blah blah, and that guy is like trying to kill and like yeah, so like Blue Suns are like what human, Batarian. <laughs> Human Batarian slavers. Well, I guess they're not all slavers, but because they're human. But yeah, human Batarian. I guess whatever's not in <laughs> the blood pack and eclipse or in the in the blue suns. But yeah, they could add those factions. Um, I think that might be it. Cause I'm trying to think if there's any more. But that's eh, if I think of any more, I'll, I'll talk about them next time. But that'd be cool. I, I'm completely forgetting about like anything else I wanted to talk about Mass Effect. So I'm gonna like go back and watch that first video because there's something I was talking about and I was gonna bring up and I completely forgot about it and I wanted to talk about it, but whatever. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I want to talk about Mass Effect 3 multiplayer? I guess I like how they're adding new maps every time as well, so that's cool. And how it's like always out of the campaign. So I'm completely expecting. So we did what? So we have Desia. Uh, Sirkesh, so far I've been added, Palavin, or Manet, whatever, it's not the planet, Palavin is the moon. So that, yeah, those are the, well, actually that's like, well, okay, so I guess, I guess that makes sense, because that's Turian, uh, sorry, Solarian homeworld, so now it's what, the uh, Earth is the next DLC, so it makes sense for the humans to get their home planet, since, you know, it kind of takes place, well, no, actually it doesn't, but... <laughs> Uh, I would say win, but I don't want to spoil it, so yeah. Well, I guess the beginning, you start off there, and then it ends there. Hmm, whatever. Uh, see, so yeah, Earth. So maybe they'll add all the, the like, Sarkesh and Dakuna, or whatever the... What are those called? The Elcor? Yeah, their one. Or, uh... What was the Hanar home run called? I don't remember. Or, like, the Hanar and the, uh, Drell blinking <sighs> yeah I don't remember <laughs> but yeah that one as well and then that, I think that's everybody maybe whatever all right I'm gonna stop it here and then like try to think of what I was going to say if there's anything else I'd love to say and then uh, come back with that well, I guess well, I'm at 15 minutes almost all right so basically <laughs> I didn't break another turtle beach headset but it, I had another one die on me so I had one that broke, but it was still working, so I had to, uh, <laughs> so I got another one, and then, like, this one I have now, I basically have it set up to where I have duct tape, and, like, <laughs> I have it like this, but I just, like, I have it to where it works, and, like, it fits snugly if I, if I hit, fit it, like, if I put it around the back of my head, because it, like, the duct tape will just, like, attach, and it works, so I'm like, yeah, I fixed it, kind of, well, I, I didn't really fix it, and since it wasn't broken, but it, like, physically kind of fixed it with duct tape, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's it for this. <laughs> that's for part two, time I've taken. So yeah, let me come back with, with my thoughts on whatever else I was going to say about Mass Effect and, like, some closing words and stuff.